Do you remember that moment when you first laid eyes on the talented and captivating Kim Hunter? Perhaps it was on a cozy Sunday afternoon, your television screen flickering to life with classic Hollywood charm. Or maybe it was on the silver screen itself, where her grace and prowess left an indelible mark. Regardless of where or how it happened, one thing's for sure, Kim Hunter was a cinematic treasure, etching herself into the annals of film history with an unforgettable presence that warmed hearts and kindled imaginations. Now, as we delve into the intriguing world of Kim Hunter, let's embark on a journey through the pages of her life. Uncover the lesser-known facets of this remarkable actress, from her early days in theater to her iconic performances on screen. Discover how she breathed life into her roles and won the admiration of audiences worldwide. Kim Hunter's story is one that resonates with the magic of cinema, the dedication of an artist, and the timeless appeal of her craft. So, fasten your seatbelts, for we're about to traverse the tapestry of her life, one fascinating thread at a time. Prepare to be enthralled by the random facts and anecdotes that will unveil the enigmatic Kim Hunter in a whole new light. Stay tuned as we unravel the captivating world of Kim Hunter, a talent that continues to shine brightly in the hearts of those who remember her fondly. Kim Hunter, the acclaimed actress known for her remarkable career spanning film, television, and theater, achieved an extraordinary feat in her Broadway debut. In 1947 to 1948, Hunter took the stage as Stella Kowalski in Tennessee Williams' iconic play, A Streetcar Named Desire. Her portrayal of Stella garnered not only critical acclaim but also two prestigious awards, the Critics Circle Award and the Donaldson Award. This breakthrough performance marked the beginning of a stellar career that would leave an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. Hunter's talents extended beyond the stage, as she also made a significant impact on the silver screen. However, her connection to the Celestial wasn't limited to her celestial performances. In 1999, during the rare celestial event known as the Blue Moon, Kim Hunter was a notable figure. Remarkably, despite being just eight years old at the time, she captured the imagination of the public with her youthful enthusiasm for this once in a blue moon occurrence. Born on January 20th, 1954, Kim Hunter's personal life also had its remarkable moments. At the age of 31, she gave birth to her second child, a son named Sean Robert Emmett, who would later become known as Sean Emmett. The child's father was her second husband, Robert Emmett. This personal milestone added another layer to the multifaceted life of the celebrated actress. Kim Hunter's legacy endures through her groundbreaking performances and her connection to extraordinary moments in both celestial and personal realms. Her contributions to the world of entertainment and her unique life experiences continue to be celebrated and remembered. Kim Hunter, the celebrated actress known for her remarkable career, had a multifaceted life that extended beyond the silver screen. While her talent shone brightly in the world of entertainment, she also made a significant mark as a political activist. And during the tumultuous era of McCarthyism, intriguingly, Kim Hunter lent her voice to the CBS Radio Mystery Theater, showcasing her versatility as an artist. Her vocal prowess added depth to the thrilling narratives of this iconic radio program, captivating audiences with her compelling performances in the realm of audio drama. Yet, it was her involvement in political activism that thrust her into a contentious spotlight. Kim Hunter's principled stance on civil rights and her sponsorship of the 1949 World Peace Conference in New York led to her being labeled a communist sympathizer, a label she vehemently denied. Despite her clear disavowal of pro-communist views, she found herself ensnared in the web of McCarthyism, a dark chapter in American history. In 1962, Kim Hunter took a courageous step by testifying before the New York Supreme Court against the publishers of Red Channels, a publication that had unjustly accused numerous performers of communist connections. Her testimony helped pave the way for the clearance of many artists, who had been unfairly targeted during this period of anti-communist hysteria. Furthermore, Kim Hunter holds a unique place in film history. Alongside a select group of actors including Roddy McDowell, Morris Evans, Linda Harrison, Ricardo Montalban, John Randolph, Natalie Trundy, and Severn Darden, she portrayed the same character, Zira, in three installments of the original Planet of the Apes series. This achievement cements her status as the sole actor to bring continuity to the franchise, leaving an indelible mark on the world of science fiction cinema. 
Kim Hunter's life and career were marked by talent, resilience, and a principled commitment to justice, both on and off the screen. Her legacy serves as a testament to the complex interplay of art, politics, and human rights in 20th century America. Kim Hunter, the celebrated actress whose talent graced both stage and screen, had a life woven with fascinating threads of personal history and professional success. Born in Detroit, Michigan in 1922, Hunter's early years were marked by profound familial influences. Her father, Donald Cole, was a consulting engineer whose untimely demise in 1926, when Kim was a mere three years old, left a lasting impact on her life. Her mother, Grace, was a concert pianist, bestowing upon Kim a deep appreciation for the arts from an early age. Furthermore, Kim had one brother, eight years her senior, who would play an instrumental role in her journey through life. But it was a serendipitous encounter on the stage that catapulted Kim Hunter into the limelight. An agent for David O. Selznick witnessed her captivating performance in the stage production of Arsenic, an old lace at the Pasadena Playhouse. Recognizing her raw talent and magnetic presence, Selznick promptly signed her to a contract that would be the launch pad for her stellar career in Hollywood. Kim Hunter's ascent in the entertainment industry was meteoric. She went on to star in iconic films such as A Streetcar Named Desire, a role that earned her an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. Her portrayal of Stella Kowalski opposite Marlon Brando's Stanley showcased her remarkable acting prowess and remains etched in cinematic history. With a career that spanned over six decades, Kim Hunter left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. Her talent, charisma, and dedication to her craft continue to inspire aspiring actors and captivate audiences worldwide. Kim Hunter's story is a testament to the enduring power of talent, determination, and the pursuit of one's passions. Kim Hunter, the celebrated actress of Hollywood's golden era, had a career filled with intriguing twists and memorable performances. While she is best known for her iconic role as Stella Kowalski in A Streetcar Named Desire, her journey in the world of cinema holds some lesser-known gems. One of these fascinating anecdotes revolves around her brief encounter with the legendary director Alfred Hitchcock. Although Hunter was initially signed by David O. Selznick, her association with the famed producer led to a series of loan outs during the two years she was under contract. Hunter's sole interaction with Selznick's studio was during three days of screen tests for Hitchcock Spellbound. In a curious twist of fate, she stood in for Ingrid Bergman, serving as a stand-in for actors tested for minor roles. Even though her face remained hidden, Hunter left an indelible impression on Hitchcock during their lunch meeting. A year later, the master of suspense recommended her to Michael Powell and Americ Pressburger for a matter of life and death, marking a significant turning point in her career. Hunter's versatility shone brightly as she portrayed various characters over the years. One notable role was as the mother of Richard Kiley's character, a performance that added another layer to her impressive body of work. A remarkable highlight in Hunter's television career was her guest starring role in the Crazy Annie episode of Beretta. What makes this even more intriguing is that the role was initially intended for the legendary Lucille Ball. Hunter's portrayal earned her an Emmy nomination, a testament to her acting prowess. However, a behind-the-scenes disagreement within the Academy led to the initial nominations being discarded and replaced with new ones. While Hunter's nomination was a casualty of this dispute, she retained her original Academy nominating certificate, a memento of her exceptional talent. In the annals of Hollywood history, Kim Hunter's name remains etched as a remarkable actress with a career full of surprises and exceptional performances. From her brief encounter with Hitchcock to her Emmy nomination, her journey through the world of entertainment continues to captivate and inspire. In the golden era of Hollywood, few actors bore witness to as many behind-the-scenes stories and changes as Kim Hunter. Born Janet Cole, she was propelled into stardom by a seven-year contract with legendary producer David O. Selznick. Under Selznick's guidance, she underwent a transformation. Her first name was changed to Kim, a suggestion by Selznick himself, and her last name became Hunter, a moniker offered by a quick-thinking RKO secretary. Yet, it wasn't just her name that underwent a metamorphosis. Years later, it was Irene Mayer Selznick, David's ex-wife, who played a pivotal role in Kim Hunter's career. 
She recommended Kim for the iconic role of Stella Kowalski in Aaliyah Kazan's adaptation of Tennessee Williams' masterpiece, A Streetcar Named Desire. This role would forever etch her name in Hollywood history, earning her an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. However, Kim Hunter's journey in Tinseltown was not without its share of controversy. When a television movie titled Fear on Trial delved into the infamous Falk, Nizer case, the producers sought Kim to portray herself. Yet, her commitment to truth and authenticity led her to decline the offer vehemently. She believed that the script contained sequences that were far from the actual events. Kim Hunter not only refused to take part in the project, but also demanded her name be expunged from the script. In the end, Lois Nettleton stepped into the role, but Kim Hunter's principled stance remains a testament to her unwavering commitment to accuracy in storytelling. Before her Hollywood days, Kim Hunter was part of a repertory group known as the Theater of Fifteen. However, this artistic collective disbanded in 1942 due to the outbreak of World War II, which claimed most of its male members for military service. It was a time of profound change and challenge, foreshadowing the shifts that Kim Hunter would encounter in her own career. In the annals of Hollywood history, Kim Hunter's journey is a fascinating tale of reinvention, principled decisions, and the influence of influential figures like the Selznicks. Her name, once a Hollywood creation, now stands as a symbol of integrity and dedication to the craft of acting. As we draw the curtains on our journey through the illustrious career of Kim Hunter, I invite you to take a moment to delve into the depths of your own personal connection with this remarkable actress. For Kim Hunter was not merely a performer, she was a conduit of emotions, a weaver of tales, and a mirror reflecting the complexities of the human experience. Perhaps you remember the gripping intensity she brought to her role as Stella Kowalski in A Streetcar Named Desire a performance that captured the essence of vulnerability and desire. Or maybe it was her portrayal of Dr. Zira in Planet of the Apes, a character that challenged our perceptions of intelligence and ethics. Kim Hunter's versatility knew no bounds, and her ability to breathe life into diverse roles left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. Now, I encourage you to share your cherished memories and thoughts about Kim Hunter's performances. What scenes or characters left you spellbound? How did her work resonate with you on a personal level? Your reflections are the threads that continue to weave the tapestry of her legacy. In a world where the spotlight often dims too soon, Kim Hunter's contributions to the arts continue to shine brightly. Her impact transcends generations, and her artistry remains an eternal source of inspiration. Thank you for taking the time to honor and celebrate the remarkable Kim Hunter.